Hi, my name is Mr. Bothwell. This is part one of a video series for art students and teachers on how to create an online art show, gallery, or portfolio. This first video is just an introduction, so it goes over the basic concept, but doesn't really expand on the details. For those of you who think creating an online art gallery is beyond your skill level, let me reassure you that the time has come and that the technology has finally evolved far enough that creating an online artwork portfolio or gallery is as easy as tweaking a MySpace account or inserting graphics into a Word document. Best of all, there's nothing to buy. All you need is a digital camera in the classroom and access to the school computer lab. As you know, students are already uploading images of their artwork to various sites on the web, creating gallery spaces. Although this is effective, creating collaborative online class art galleries has three clear advantages. The first has to do with the absence of annoying banner ads and pop-ups. The second is total control of the layout and aesthetic. The third advantage is that all of the class artwork is consolidated to a single website, which is accessible through your school's homepage, making it easy to find. With those advantages in mind, here's a quick overview of how to make it happen. Step one is photographing student artwork. It works best to have one digital camera in your classroom specifically designated for this purpose. Next, you'll need to download Google Picasa. It's free and extremely useful. Then, two weeks before the end of the term, download the photos from your camera to Picasa and upload photos through Picasa web albums to the internet. Step two, sign up for a free Google Sites account and create a basic home page. Then under Account Settings, add your students as website collaborators through a simple email verification process. If you've never worked on a website collaboratively before, the process is very simple and powerful. Basically, the teacher controls the home page, which functions as a link directory, and the students each create a personal web page. Step 3 is to take your students to the computer lab two weeks before the end of the term and show them this video series. If they have any questions during the process, they can always access the Student Art Show channel on YouTube and revisit any of the videos. 4. While you're in the computer lab, have the students surf to the web address where the photos of the artwork are being stored. The students then download their photos to the desktop of their computer. Then, step 5, while you're in the computer lab, have the students log on to the collaborative Google site and create a page for themselves inside the class website. As I said before, if they have experience adding photos to their MySpace, they can easily build an online artwork portfolio like the one I'm describing. Remember, though, that this is a learning process and the first web pages they create might look a little primitive. At first, keep it simple. A single long scroll web page is a good place to start. Once your class has created their online gallery, send me a link and I'll add your site as a link to studentartshow.com, which is a community of K-12 California art teachers and students with online portfolios. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. See you in part two where I'll show you how to get started.